This morning, the Daily Heritage says Montcrest Soas University launched TNE partnership. Cabinet didn't support HIPIC initially, ex President Kufo reveals. A lawyer prosecutor clash. That's a uh, lawyer Kojo Ga Adaudu there. You know that he's lawyer for. Uh, one of the cool, cool, uh, supposed cool plotters. Chief Kotochi, chief worried about hardship. The Daily Graphic. No more permits for new cement companies, trade ministry. New Plan Ghana uh, Limited shuts down 31st January. Determining presidential election winner, votes must be over 50%, 50% uh, plus one constitutional misrepresentation. Dasibre, Professor Utibwating says so. The Ghanaian Times. Renewed chieftaincy dispute in Patinga. One killed, six injured, five arrested, ten houses torched. Ghana Health Service calls for forensic probe into the conduct of internal audit uh, director. And government winning anti-corruption fight, information minister tells critics. He spoke yesterday. FAO warns of low-cost invasion in northern part of Ghana. A big boost for the health care service as president distributes 307 ambulances to 275 constituencies tomorrow. The final newspaper, economic outlook positive. Moody says policies bearing fruits. Over 300 ambulances staff to be deployed tomorrow. Dr. Siama denies any wrongdoing in banking crisis. Over 65% of households in Upper East are poor, according to a report. The Daily Guide. Nana outdoors ambulances tomorrow. Osafoma for bounces Auditor General. Ghana's economy gets positive rating. And NDC versus EC. Plan B activated after failed demos. The BNFT is the final one for this morning. It reports that Moody's changes Ghana's outlook to positive from stable, affirms B3 rating. Government likely to lose $110 million in petroleum revenue. United States gives $3 million to beef up law enforcement. My guest this morning, the Honorable Pius Enam Hajide is the Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic. And he's joined me in studio. Pius, good morning. Thank you for your time. Good morning. Good morning. And Sami Jemfi is the National Communications Officer of the NDC. Sam, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, the Lord has been gracious and kind. Okay. It's the affairs of this country which is being mismanaged by President Tiku for the NDC government. That's how you are. That's fi how far you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God has been gracious and kind. He's okay. good. Very good. He's good. Yeah, but, you know, this country is heading on the right <coughs> or on the wrong direction and uh, is affecting uh, the vast majority of Ghanaians. Okay. Pius, how are you? Well, I'm good and we are gracious to God. I'm surprised. I mean, people who are able to mobilize uh, hundreds of thousands, uh, almost millions of cities uh, for their demonstrations in a couple of weeks are complaining about how hard times are. Uh, these are indeed interesting times for the kind of politics that we are doing in this country. But I am quite confident and sure uh, after interacting with ordinary people uh, of this country mm -hmm. that they are quite excited about the things that are happening today. The vast majority of Ghanaian children of school going age go to school without the hassle of uh, school fees at okay. the secondary level. Okay. Even at the postgraduate level for medical doctors. Mm -hmm. They used to pay over fifteen thousand, sometimes as high as twenty thousand. Okay, let's Today let's introduce our topics. If not, you will you will change my direction. So yesterday, I mentioned earlier on the show that um, I applaud the president for free SHS, but there are few bottlenecks which we must look at realistically and handle. This, the images I'm going to show you are images from the Accra Wesley Girls Secondary School. There's supposed to be a day school. Children from Kumasi, Eastin, Westin have been posted there. They're supposed to be getting educated there. They're supposed to be taught there. But the hostel in which some of them sleep, Babina, please show us the, the images one more time so that we can get my panelists to talk about it. This is where the ladies sleep. These are 16, 17 year old girls. And it's not as if they live there alone. It's not a completed building. And there are people who live downstairs. The girls live upstairs. And the girls have been warned not to tell anybody that they live here. This is in Accra. It's somewhere around the Ogle Road in Accra. The Accra Wesley girls. You can see their mattresses. It's a total slum. That's where the girls live. So the realities of when people gathered at the Independence Square in sometime in September, and they were asking that their, their children should be posted to schools where they could have accommodation or boarding facilities, is now coming back to bite us. This is just 
a snippet of what could be happening in other places. Pius, this is what I found yesterday. What do you say? Well, thank you. Uh, good morning to you mm -hmm. and to our viewers again. Uh, this is your own work. Uh, I mean, journalism mm -hmm. uh, at its best practice, if you may. I think that people like you who go beyond the headlines mm -hmm. to uh, even expose some of these things that may not be obvious to uh, many of us mm -hmm. have to be commended. However, I am. I feel uh, 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 quite taken aback mm -hmm. uh, and we late uh, because my understanding of the way the program runs is that we discuss what's on the front page and that's what we have been previous. Uh, it's news headline, uh, news news review. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't notice that you had reviewed this, but nonetheless, we'll discuss mm -hmm. it. Uh, I am not too sure. Uh, you said that they were instructed not to speak to anybody. I don't know who that instruction came from. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, the school that you spoke about is a day school. It is. It doesn't run a boarding facility. Absolutely. And so this is not a government facility. Mm. It is not. And so if you say that they have been warned, uh, I would I would think that uh, having taken the the pain mm. to have gone to the ex to this mile mm. uh, to find this, uh, that th it would have been a little more useful if you had given us uh, more details about who is in charge, who is running this facility. Uh, is it the case that there's a syndicate? Uh, is it the case that uh, that is the best accommodation they could rent? Mm. Uh, is it a private initiative? Uh, but as it is, if care is not taken, a misleading picture will be, will, will be painted. As Papayos, though let, me pull, let me pull the plugs a bit and, and ask you this question. So we know that it is a day school. And yet you post people from other regions to the place. That's a mismatch to start with. They are 16, 17 year olds, possibly under the laws of Ghana. They can't get into an agreement, and if you will, a tenancy agreement. And they can't be living on their own. And yesterday, I saw this, and I'm, I'm saying that, look, but for free SHS, these girls will not have been in school, possibly. No, no. I'm, but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm saying that this, no, is, where they, this is where they live. My, but my, I'm, I'm saying that the, the, the introduction of free SHS into your discussion makes it problematic. You're saying so? that, but for free SHS, they would not be these here. These are gold track where would they, girls. Where would they have been? But for free SHS, where would they have been? They would... Pious, pious, no, but pious. For, you, no, you pious, are making a fundamental pious, point. Pious, pious, pious. Hold on, hold on. No, but you're saying I that. I am saying that. But for free SHS, they pious, will not be here. Pious, Which means that you have an pious, idea where they would have been. Pious, hold I think on. it's only fair. Pious, hold on. Yes. When I started, I said, free SHS is good. No. And I'm, let's relax, not go back. relax, relax. And I'm saying that. Yes. Let me Let me do a chronology. And I'm saying that. But for free SHS, yes. some of these girls would not have been in school. They Listen would. to me. <laughs> so I'm saying that okay. the possibility of these girls. Okay. Perhaps being in school okay. is because of free SHS. Okay. Now I'm saying that free okay. SHS per the CSSPS puts them in a day school when they don't have accommodation and which has necessitated that they live in this slum. And I'm saying that that shouldn't have arisen in the first place where you live in Ashanti region, you are posted to a day school in Accra, it doesn't have sleeping place for you and yet you are expected to run. And they have been in this for two years. They are gold track, uh, green track girls in second year. It should well, be of concern to in you. The, in the first place, the question I asked was legitimate, and you have just clarified it. You are saying that, but for free SHS, mm -hmm. instead of living, and to borrow your own words, in a slum, and mm -hmm. I see that it's quite where they live is not fit for anybody to live, let alone mm -hmm. a 16-year-old secondary school mm -hmm. people. No, 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 no doubt about that. Mm. But you're saying that, but for free SHS, they would have been at home. Mm. Possibly. Having no, that's what you said. Yes. It's not a question of possibility. I asked you, I and you said that. So, and so, so let's, so that's if, you, if you'd allow me, mm. please, if you'd allow me to also make my point mm. the way you make yours. Mm. I'm saying that you made the point that for, but for free SHS, they would have been at home. All opportunity to go to school whether in a conducive environment or not. Some of is them. Some of them. Don't take it by blanket. Why are you wanting to teleguide the discussion in a certain I am teleguiding area? the discussion you are saying because that, but for I am hosting SHS, you. You are skewing the conversation. How? To, I'd say, look, if you're not ready to talk, 
I'm saying, well, if I'm not ready, if put, you're not ready put, to listen put to your, me. Put your little sister in that picture. Are you going to allow me to speak? I'm saying to you that you made the point that but for free SHS, they would not have been here. Mm -hmm. That's the point you're making. Exactly. And I'm saying that it means that but for free, free SHS, mm -hmm. they would have been at home. If they were not here, where would they have been? Correct. They would have been at home. Make progress. And I'm saying to you that I'm not saying that where they are is good. Okay. But it is useful that even you, you admit that but for free SHS, some of these, or all of these kids who are sleeping under these very, very uh, uh, bad conditions mm. would have been sleeping there. So I wanted to make that point. Right. The second point I wanted to make is that mm. the computer placement, and again, let's re-emphasize that this is a day school. Mm. The computer placement, as I understand it, is by choice. The schools that you choose, you, the student, or the parent of the student, you have an input in choosing what school you go to. So it is not as though somebody is in Ashanti region and the person is lifted and uprooted without their own input and sent to another region. That is the policy that the placement... But, but you, you do know that also some of the parents that gathered at the Independence Square said that they didn't choose certain schools and they were giving certain schools. You, you also recall, know that that concern came You would recall that there was an explanation that the, the system of the, 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 the computer placement mm. was compromised. You don't recall that? Mm. I recall that very well. All right. And so to, to have such a, a selective recollection of the issue is quite problematic for me. That's, that's not fair to say. So if the system acknowledges that its system was hacked, and the parents have come to say, but you, but we I'm didn't choose school A, B, C because yes. your premise And is those that people were offered the opportunity to correct. Including these ones? Well, I, I cannot speak for these ones. I didn't conduct the interview. I didn't do, and I haven't heard any voices. I haven't seen even, even any kids. You, you but I'm taking... You doubt that. I'm not, I'm, not, okay. I'm not in the position to doubt you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to doubt that. I don't want to... I'm saying that me, I'm prepared as somebody who is interested in the welfare of the Ghanaian children. Okay. I want to discuss problems. Okay. If they, uh, even if they were manufactured, I want to still discuss it. Okay. But I'm saying that I, it's also instructive that I don't see any school kids there. Okay. I don't hear any voices. All I'm listening to you is a certain narrative from you, which narrative appears quite already conceived. And you, okay. you, 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 your position on the matter is, is made. But I'm appreciating it so, as so, so, fairly so, as I can. And so I'm the saying appreciation that. doesn't and I'm come saying from that. the fact that the girls have been warned not to speak. You don't appreciate well, I that. Haven't, you are claiming that. And I'm saying that you have, no, you have not even told what me. What solution is there? But I'm saying to you that mm -hmm. if you make your points, you will allow me to address them. Because you are, you are making some really blanket and serious allegations here without any proof. And I think that that's a limitation. Really? You're saying that the girls have been warned. Warned by whom? By the teacher who put them there. Well, at least now you're... It should matter to you. No, to but that, that's what I wanted to find out. Texting that is, the people at the education. No, 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 no. no, no. Asking them no I cannot be it. texting and talking to you at the same time. Okay. But I'm saying to you that it is useful to find out what teacher put them there. Okay. Okay? You have mentioned the school. We will find out there are more than one teacher there. I'm sure that you are unable to find the teacher who put them there. But I think that we will find out which mm. teacher put them there and under what authority the teacher put them there. Okay. But I want to make the point to you that this is not a government problem. It's not a government creation. That's what I'm saying. It is not. It is not okay. a government creation. Thank you. Because mm. the free SHS, the placement is a large percentage of, of the input comes from the wards and their parents themselves. Okay. This school is not a boarding school. It is a day school. It is regrettable that if this is happening, mm. it is happening, and the government that I work for, I know that we will not countenance things like this. This matter will, will have to be investigated. If you, if you, if you investigate and you found, find out that, in fact, we have told you what you should have known, what will what, be What do you mean response? you have told me what I should have known? That I should know where these stu students, no, where they rent no. their accommodation. I am saying that the Ghana Education Service has a structure. Yes, that metro, and that structure that, tells... Hold on, hold on. Yes. There are metro directors. Yes. There are headmasters. Yes. There are district directors. Yes. They write annual reports. They yes. write monthly reports, yes. weekly reports. Yes. And they talk of the specific challenges that they have. Yes. I'm sure that the headmistress, if they are working well, yes. possibly would have written to the metro office to say, I have been giving students who do not reside in Accra, and for which reason we perhaps, and I'm, I'm here I'm guessing, <laughs> that they have made accommodation arrangements for them. So come to our aid. I'm saying that we have found this out. What will no, be... Are you, are you, are you, are you, now let me, are you saying that it is the school that is running this? Is that what you're saying? That the school you authorities see, are running see, this? 
I'm not answering questions because because I'm you are the one who is brought you are the one who is brought it up for discussion. I told you there's a teacher there. If you are not comfortable discussing it, that's fine. But I'm saying that you can, if you have the information, it is fair to the people of Ghana that the, the information is put. Out. I have given. All I am that saying to you that earlier. you know what I know. Mm -hmm. I know that these students sometimes rent accommodation. Sixteen year olds. Yes. They rent accommodation. Yes. Is that right? Sixteen year olds. You, I, you, are, you have not. You have. You don't know how I'm they school. You sixteen year olds. Are you? Are you are, I'm, when I, I'm discussing the, our historical antecedents, where we have come olds. from, I have, I have had, when I was in secondary school, I have, I have had mates who came from home. Mm. And some of those, those homes, some lived with parents, some lived with uh, relate, the relatives, some rented apartments. Okay, thank you. Some and so I know that. So let me take a bite so on this So if you one. say that this is run by the school, I'm saying it's serious I'm enough. I'm not saying but this if it's is run by the school. Don't put words in my mouth. I say the students say there's a teacher who got the place for them, and they pay 700 Ghana cities per term. So this is a and rented so, apartment. And so use well, a rented apartment, and they are going to the school. So use your use your resources to find out this instead of doubting <clears throat> it, please. I'm so not me, doubting take, it. Take a bite at this. Uh, let me say good morning to our cherished viewers. And commend TV3 for this excellent, you know, journalistic investigative work. Because many a times, majority of Ghanaians don't get the benefit of seeing or, or appreciating these stories and through you, through this network. Um, I'm sure this morning. A lot of Ghanaians will be depressed and saddened by these terrible images that we are seeing because, you know, Johnny, no reasonable human being will wish these, this deplorable living condition for a sibling mm. or a, a, a daughter or a son, you understand, or a child, if I can put it that way. It is not the best. Children living in such conditions cannot have the right state of mind to even study and pass their examination. And so this is terrible. This is horrible. It is disgraceful that in this day and age, school children in Ghana will be living under such you know, horrifying, deplorable conditions. But as you rightly said, this is just a tip of the iceberg. Because this only typify the mess, the monumental mess that Ghana's educational sector is in currently. How, how do you, as how a do result, you, you have data to back yes. As a saying. result of the mismanagement of that important sector, you have data to manage. Yes, I will. To, I will. I will buttress that. I will buttress that with cogent arguments and facts. You see, this problem is a direct product mm. of the haphazard placement of JHS graduates into second cycle institutions under the Akufuado government. How? Oh, you brought that system? We brought it. Yes. But under us, the system was streamlined. Even though there were challenges, it wasn't at this rate. Mm -hmm. Since when, in the history of this country, have you seen children and their parents travel from across the 16 regions of Ghana to congregate at the independent square to resolve placement issues? It happened for the first time under the Akufuado government. And so, and so it should tell you that it is the creation of this, this government. The government said you bust people there and went to feed them. That is an insult to the intelligence of, you know, uh, Ghanaians, and I wouldn't want you to even encourage that. But the, to focus on the German issue here, the issue here has to do with, if you like, the misplacements of GHS graduates. We have data on all second, second cycle institutions in this country, the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education does. They know secondary schools which have boarding facilities and mm -hmm. secondary schools which are day, you know, institutions. Mm -hmm. And so when you are placing students into day institutions, you must place those who fall within the catchment areas mm -hmm. around those institutions. Mm -hmm. In fact, that was a thinking that underpinned the establishment of the community day senior high schools that President Mahama, you know, built. That we will only place students who come from those catchment areas mm. into those schools. Mm. But what is happening currently is that a child is posted from the western region to a secondary school in Accra. Mm. 
14 years old, 15 years old, 16 years old. No family relatives in Accra. And yet, the child has to rent accommodation, pay for his or her transportation to school mm. every day, feed you know, themselves, and so on. The problem is real. This is not peculiar to this school alone. Which you go to do you institutions know? like Accra Girls. Mm. Children are sleeping outside on bare floors. Really? As we are here, I'm getting text messages and pictures. OK, and, hold, and, on. And, and, no. hold, hold on for me. Let's, let's connect up with Echo Vincent. Echo Vincent speaks for oh, the education Johnny, I think ministry. you should have allowed Sorry, me to I beg land. You. I beg because, you. No, e Echo, no, Echo no, is on no, air. No, no, Johnny, I beg you. Johnny, Johnny, hold on. This in the studio is the deputy minister of information. He right. speaks for government. Mm. Echo is just a PRO at the Ministry of Education. Government has a rep on this show. For the sector. He has had about 10 to 15 minutes to speak. And so if you're going to bring in another government spokesperson, I insist that I, I allow me to end. Okay. This discussion uh, 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 by your product, call, uh, uh, your production team later. is not fair. It's because okay. you Sammy, have the Sammy, deputy minister Sammy, of information Sammy, here. He has spoken for 15 minutes. Sammy, but you don't you are not satisfied you are bringing another. No, but you I don't decide that I have the right to protest. Okay. When I think I'm not being treated we have fair, noted your because government has spoken. So the point I'm making Pius here. Pius couldn't give me the answers because he was you looking think for so. further details. You think so? He thinks he has. So that is for uh, I mean our viewers and Ghanaians to decide. Make, make, make so let me have my bite. If you still want to give another government spokesperson the opportunity to, to, to the speak, then ministry. so be it. Well, but, but the I, point I, I am making here. This is my now let me conclude. Let me conclude. In your, in let me conclude. Let, let me mm. because I'm virtually building my introduction. Pius, Pius, Pius is assuming that. At 6 p.m. yesterday in the evening. But you're doing it at 6 a.m. Hold on. You are doing it hold morning. on, Pius. When the show is Pius, running. Don't teach me my Johnny, job. can well, I? Your, hold on, hold on. Why? You would have your bike. Let me at 6 p.m. yesterday, yes. mm -hmm. your Ministry of Education was shut down. My at 6 p.m. My ministry, not your Ministry of Education. But, but you are saying that I should have saw the but That's what I'm saying. But you are able to get Vincent Please, this morning. Allow uh, him to no make problem. His point. So, Johnny, <laughs> the first point I'm making is that this is a product of the haphazard placement of GHS students. The poor planning that goes into that, you know, as we have seen in the last three years is what is accounting for this mess. Mm. And it is not peculiar to this school alone. If you do your investigations across the 16 regions of Ghana, you will see a much bigger problem that we need to deal with as a country. Again, there is a fundamental problem. Which is? The lack of infrastructure in our second cycle institutions. That problem is as a result of the refusal of President Ekufuado and his government to invest in educational infrastructure. How, how is that? How, Johnny, how is that it so? is said that to whom much is given, much is expected, right? This is a government which has added, despite promise, promising not to borrow, mm. has added a whopping 90 billion Ghana cities to the public debt of this country in three years. Okay. That is how much they have borrowed in three years. They have had <laughs> access to over 210 billion in three years. And yes, has refused to invest in educational infrastructure. They have abandoned the Mahama E blocks they came to meet. They have not constructed one secondary I've, I've, school in I've three seen years. A few being bandaged on face these days. But we didn't bequeath so, them a so, few. So they're doing we, some work. We, when they took office, at least 70 or 60 had been completed, it's fully true. finished. It's not true. Another 60 it's a lie. were at different not true. stages of completion. Okay. That is not Johnny, true. Johnny, why are you, why no, you is, is on the telephone line. He speaks for the Education Ministry. But tell Echo, your good producer morning. that Thank you very much for your done time. Very often. Echo, I'm sure you've seen the photos we're showing on your screens right now. The supposed hostel of the Accra Wesley girls. These are the girls who live there themselves who said that this is where they live. What is your immediate reaction to the photos you're seeing. Johnny, let me say a very good morning to you and to your cherished viewers. I am very surprised the over sensationalism that is put to the story by Sami Jenfi. He has only shown that he doesn't understand how the free SHS works and the CSSPS works. And I'll tell you why. You made a very good point. You said that there are reports that are given by the district directorate and the flight circuit supervisors every year, mm. which presumes or which suggests that going forward, the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education improves on the placement system. And that is why about six months to the placement, mm. there was a massive sensitization across the country whereby parents were engaged, whereby students, teachers were engaged 
headmasters, and administrators were engaged about the placement system. Mm. And we educated them about how mm. the placement are supposed to be done. Mm. And before I go ahead, let me make this point. The Ghana Education Service, neither the free SHS ever post any child to any school voluntarily without the consent of the child. There has not been a single matter or a single way whereby the Ghana Education Service has ever posted any child in any school without the consent of the child or Echo, the parent. Echo, Echo, so, so, so Echo, Echo, point, Echo, hold on. That on that point, hold on, you let me finish. Echo, on that, that point, hold on, hold on for me. On that point, Echo. without the consent of the parent, Echo, or I like the, the fact that you are child, stressing absolutely false. Echo, I like the fact, Echo, hold on, let me ask you a question. Hold on, you hold on. I like the fact that you are stressing on consent, consent, consent. But let me let me ask you this, Echo. I know your point. The Echo, point Echo, if you don't add, allow me to ask to my that. question, I'll have to if lose you. Let me tell you. Echo, if you don't allow me to ask my question, I'll have to lose you. You have made a point about the fact that no child will be posted without the consent of the child and the parent. Now, yes. are you also aware that the CSSPS office said its system was hacked, which would have necessitated the fact that some people were posted to schools that they hadn't already chosen, which is why they had to congregate at the independent square. What's your response Johnny, to that, sir? Johnny, that is not correct. Indeed, the system was hacked, but we recorrected all the anomalies that happened. Mm. Put differently, we cancelled all placement that were done when the system was hacked. Mm. That is how come students who were placed in schools like St. Augustine's College, at the Adel College when they had 1917, had to go to the school and later realized that they couldn't be in the school because at that time the system was hacked. Mm. So the system was cancelled after the system was hacked. So no student or no child was ever placed in any school without the consent of the child. We live in a country whereby now we have to be truthful. If a parent makes a mistake, a parent shows some amount of carelessness and is not interested in where his child will be posted to, do not play any role or a headmaster or a head teacher voluntarily says that my child or my student will have to be posted to this school and for that matter chooses that school for that particular child without considering location. If you live in a Santee region and you choose Accra West girls that you want to go to Accra West girls as they, that cannot be the fault of the government. So, Echo, you, you speak for the... You have to say the truth where the truth lies. Echo, Echo, the Echo, let me let me let me ask a quick question and then we'll let you go. Hold on to me. Echo, let me ask a quick question. So there are five there are five choices that the students can make. Correct? Yes. Now yes. of the five choices, they could have first, second, third choice. And usually what happens, as I have come to understand, is that after their third yes. choice, they just put any school there. What intervention is the ministry putting in place to ensure that some kind of, uh, if you will, guidance is provided to the parents and the students in the, making their choice for their school so that such a situation doesn't occur. Yes, that, that is why I come to your point that some reports are made by circuit supervisors and district directors to the GES. Now, we sensitize parents and students six months ahead that if you can't go to any day school, Please, and please again, especially when you are not interested in where you chose earlier. We gave a room for what we call self-placement. Mm. You go back online, choose a school that is convenient to you. If you, if you are choosing a day school, you are, going, you are now going to choose a day school that is supposed to be convenient to you. So nobody was living in Ashanti region and was posted to Accra Wesley Girls as a day student without the consent of the parents. What promise can you make us about this issue finally and then we'll let you go? Across the country. And if such parents were interested in what their children were supposed to be doing and where they are supposed to be going to school, mm. some of these challenges will not be happening. And let me state, let me Echo, state, Echo, what promise can you make us going forward? It's not a government-managed facility. It's a facility that is privately owned. We distance ourselves from which the Ministry of Education cannot be accountable to the pictures that we are seeing there. And we cannot even verify the authenticity of the supposed pictures that you are showing on your platform this morning. 
Okay, so you cannot verify immediately, but are you making us a promise that you will check? Absolutely, absolutely. It's right. just about almost 8 o'clock. When I get to right. the office by 8 And just to place on I'm record that we can verify the authenticity of that. Echo Vincent, thank you very much for your, for your uh, time. So he will verify, but we will come back to you to respond. Well, Johnny, he, he says that it is not their problem. Juni, listen. The problem, the main problem with this Ecuador government is not that they are inept. It's not that they fail to plan. It's not that they lack foresight. Mm -hmm. The main problem with this Ecuador government is that they don't listen to good reason. They don't listen to criticism. They are allergic to truth. They are impervious to good reason. That is their problem. So Either than that, so, so, please, so when you were speaking, I was here. Yeah, allow me to make my points. You've well, had you, ample you time. Vincent has come in. So allow me to make my point. No, please. No, please. Please allow me to come in. <laughs> Listen, what is accounting for this over-defensive posturing on the part of government spokespersons on this matter? What is over-defensive? Who are they deceiving? Are they living in the same country with us? Listen, even as we've been talking, eh, I've been receiving lots, lots of messages, some including pictures. This is St. Martin Senior High can, in Sawoma, and I'll give these pictures. Can I have a look at You it? can have a school. Look at the body no, facilities that are, children are living are, in. Are we, are we deviating from you the cannot, newspaper you see, that we are you not can, you are, you are, are, you are, are ah, What is the meaning of this? No, but I, I, no, Allow me to make my point. You contested at least you've had your bite. So let me finish with my submission on this, and then we can go to other issues. You didn't feel like cutting to bring a coin. Be fair please, to you allow me to run Spires, the don't do that. on the line for a long time before you allow me wrong. to make my points, please. So you see, you are only engaged in a, 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 a useless enterprise of denying the obvious, and that will not wash because Ghanaians know of the realities, the the real deplorable conditions that secondary school children are living under. He says that oh, they they don't post people without their consent. And so this is the making of parents. Look at this. Didn't you interview parents who gathered at the Independence Square a few months ago to resolve placements, you know, challenges of their, of their wars? Resolve, yes. And what did they say? Did they say that they were the ones who chose those schools but for their wars? The system was compromised. It is not true. <laughs> Most of them have been the given system, schools they never selected. Because the system was corrected. Uh, you choose to believe a convincent and not believe the parents who gathered there, the children who gathered there. What credibility does that convincent us? Oh, somebody who but, says, but that's not listen, fair. somebody that's who, who has told the public on radio that teachers don't need textbooks in order to teach, you know, basic school people. Mm -hmm. You not, choose what, to what, take what, the what, account what, what, of this person. No, but Johnny, I, 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 I am comfortable with what we are doing this so morning. morning. So what he's telling you I am uncomfortable. I don't, but, but I, don't I find this is not what I know that we don't like this. Hold on. No, I won't go Hold on. I, I, says he's uncomfortable. I want to hear why, no, why he says he's you, uncomfortable. We, are, we don't give people the time on this show to express. He's running the show. He's determining to you what you should do. When you have to, when you have to, what is your shout at me? When you have to, when you have to, when you have to bring in Vincent, and you say that you allowed him. I only protested. You allowed Vincent to come in. It is not my time to speak. Now Vincent held on. I gave Vincent his time. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot misrepresent the fact. Johnny. When you allow, when it was time for you to bring Vincent on, he protested. You allowed him to continue. Why don't you allow me to protest? Johnny. So back to the point I'm making. Johnny, can I? Can what I find you are not helping. You are not helping from Johnny. how we run this because program normally. So, so today, instead of the 16-year-olds who are stranded, you want me to discuss Moody's because you are and you you even said that you didn't teach how to. You, you, you are now you are now cross-checking. You are now cross-checking your facts. You want me to discuss that? You are now you are now cross-checking your facts. You should have done that before putting the details up in the show. You want me to discuss EC register, NDC, MPP, Johnny, ambulance, think, when 16, 17 year old girls are viewers, Your viewers, your you viewers, your viewers still do what you're doing professionally. And determine and what is as the a professional, you know that now, you have to cross check your story Now, Johnny, you did not even Johnny, speak Johnny, to, can I proceed? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you did not speak to the school administration. Hold on for me. You did not speak to the teacher. I think today you want to have a banter with Pius. Hold on for me. Because he should be ignored. He's doing this on purpose. He never wants us to discuss the issue. Hold on for me. And you are falling for it. And let me place this on record oh. that our credibility as a media institution is intact. If the government 
decides that they don't want to believe the story we have put out. This is not the story. This is not the story. I am Johnny saying lacks, that it lacks, these, it lacks the professionalism that will come with it. You did not speak you to want Johnny. To, you want to you teach us speak. about professionalism. I can teach you why. You cannot even Johnny, you want to teach Why are you even worried about what Pius Ajide says? What credibility has Pius Ajide got to impugn the integrity of a media organization like TV3? <laughs> what integrity does he have? And you are wasting precious air time on him. He has expressed his opinion. You cannot change that. Allow me to I express mine. At the end of the day, the audience will determine that. Who is right? So let me proceed. Give, give Samir Jemfi ah, all the time. He's impugning your credibility and you are giving him all the air time to do that. Let me proceed. Give Samir Jemfi all the time. Now, the fundamental issue I was raising. Go ahead and give Samir Jemfi all the time. The fundamental, I'm telelling you that you don't have any credibility or integrity to impugn the integrity and credibility of a media organization like him. That's not what we are discussing. Please, you have to talk about integrity. The point I'm making is that. You don't have any. Listen. You, you don't you have the deputy so, minister of information, yes, Johnny. Yes. Okay. Tell us Thank you. of any single investment you have made in educational infrastructure. 1.5 billion. Tell us of any billion. single secondary school, billion. any single body facility you have constructed. Billion. You morning, have done nothing. You have borrowed 90 billion. Give you a gross limit of consumption. This morning, when the parents of those 16 and 17-year-olds meet, they will know that the politicians do not no, really care Johnny, about them. Johnny, don't because the don't politicians, say politicians say instead, MPP, of, instead of because talking I, I about am the girls, interested in are this talking topic. about who has added what and whether the story is credible or not, and all of those. No, ones. That's very. I unfair. find it very, very disappointing. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you even Pius wants to suggest to that, that we, what, what, we, what, what, we have changed the face of the show, so we should be discussing movies. This is a very but, but, but that's what we do. Issue. register. But is that not what we do here every day? This is a national concern. But what, what you have on the papers is not a national concern. I'm saying it is that I don't have a problem. And I made the point. It is a, it is a I crisis. I'm saying that. Our I, I'm saying that I don't have a problem. And if we can discuss this, I commended you for all of this. I'm only saying that it is an incomplete story because you did not speak to the school. You would have found that. This is not have a you had the benefit you, of watching the you story. Have you found that you this the is story. not a hostel that the school is do you, running. Do you understand what we call have a running story? The story? Do you understand what we call a running story? Well, that's what I'm saying. The man that hasn't even watched the story. Here, he's impure. My understanding is that when we come here, we don't discuss running stories. Do you understand what you call a running story? You did not speak to the school. You did not cross check. Do you now determine what is discussed on this show? Johnny, well, you can even determine who is that you, you, you sought to belittle. You see, that for me is very unfortunate because, you know, we are talking, we are having these challenges in our schools. Primarily because of the lack of infrastructure. Let's face it. If we had enough boarding facilities, 23 of or if we were we have streamlining the placement of JHS graduates, I am sure that we would have been able to reduce the incidence of these cases. Absolutely. 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 You understand? So and this is something, so this is so something that the Ministry of Education the itself has admitted to. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. We've had these challenges over the Absolutely. years, but we have seen That's an exacerbation, an escalation of this challenge as a result of poor planning. Mm -hmm. You understand? Sammy, Sammy, so, Pius, rather than second, being second, overly second. defensive, no, we are not overly defensive. Take Sammy, these things Sammy, as Sammy, positive Sammy, feedback. Sammy, I beg of you. I beg you of have you. not even Sammy, watched the feed, this, this, the video. Yet you Sammy, are attacking the credibility no, of no, the media organization. No, I don't true. think it's fair. Sammy, that's fair. What, seriously, one second. I started off by commending even Johnny and pointed out the limitations that I saw. I even said that we didn't have to introduce free SHS as the reason for this. Because this is not a question for free SHS. If it were anything, it may be a question of lack of facilities and infrastructure like you said. Yeah. So I thought that we were going to go into the history of the fa infrastructure that this government was providing. And you didn't and hear me say Please, let me finish. Good. No, but I'm saying to you that you said that, but for free SHS, and I said that, I this said is not, for free if you would allow me, you allow me, that's what you keep doing. Let me also progress. make my point. Why? You allowed, I'm saying that we are investing in the infrastructure. It's not a question of free SHS. If free SHS was not there, and there was no infrastructure, the kids will still not find places to sit and learn and sleep. Pius, so I'm see, saying the, that the, the only so way I'm free, the, the only way free SHS comes in I'm saying, has I'm to saying do that. with the, the, I'm saying that. the increment I'm saying in that. enrollment. I'm saying that. Which we have been even before free SHS, adequate provision. No, some, 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 so so some, you are partly no, right. No, no, I agree no, with you. I'm saying that. But you cannot that's, also discount but that's the why that is why astronomical increment in enrollment we've seen over the last few years as a result of the implementation of the PSA, which is positive. It is not negative. That's my point. It is good. So I don't know. Why Pius is not understand. But at the same time, Pius, what we are saying is that 
in as much as the free SHS policy is good, it has led to an increment in enrollment. That Children who would have been in the house are today in school. In school. We must also but provide we must make infrastructure. For them. We must also point. streamline the way these GHS you, students I don't know why parents have a problem. So, no, 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 so no, that we ensure that, that we don't compromise. I'm saying that. On I'm, some saying that. You I'm saying that. Don't, don't say that. No, don't say that I have a problem when free SHS is You have a problem. Please, please. If you want to be professional, please be professional. I commend free I don't have. Tony, I think I should host this program today for you to be a part of it. I'm saying, yes, absolutely. You 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 will not you you are not even allowing us to make the point. I am passionate about this, and the politicization. Please, will you not cannot fly allow your passion to get in the way of your professional what, job. What do you mean? You a, can be a, you can a, be passionate, but you cannot. You have to. This have, job is about passion, Pius. But I'm saying that you cannot allow your have passion you to get in the as way. As a journalist before, so you are. Uh, so they, then don't invite me here if it, if I have to be a journalist to appear on your I show. I thank you, don't gentlemen, for your time. Sami Jeffy, most grateful for your time, Pius. And I'm Hajide, is a deputy minister for uh, but Johnny, information. Uh, Johnny, my, as yeah. we sign out, I would just want to make a humble appeal to the Minister of Education mm -hmm. and uh, the handlers of our education sector mm -hmm. to at least follow this story up, okay? And also check on the many other cases, mm -hmm. similar cases that we have in mm -hmm. different secondary schools all across the country. Let us ensure that we solve some of these bottlenecks, we deal with some of these challenges so that we don't compromise the quality of secondary education. Thank you. Well, yeah, well if, me, if I may also. This, this is affecting. I think that, uh, I think that, that assurance and that promise was even made by both myself and uh, Mr. Vincent Eko. I said in my earlier time that this matter had to be investigated mm. because there are so many unanswered questions in the story and those questions must be answered. Mm. Is this a hostel being run by the school? Did kids get into that school by force? Did they not choose those schools themselves? Are there some measures that the state can take immediately to ameliorate the sufferings of these persons? Even granted that it were their own, it was a fault of their own, it is their own making. Can we take some steps to mitigate that? But largely speaking, there is no doubt that this government is investing heavily in academic infrastructure. Right, not built one point. School. Several schools have been built. I mean, okay, thank you. School. Even in my thank own, you very much. Name one school. school. Now yes. I want. I want to. I want to speak. Well, <laughs> <eight AM yet. laughs> yeah, well, well <laughs> somebody sent me a message. Says Johnny, they didn't resolve anything. I wish I were there to share my experience with you concerning one of my pupils who had aggregate fourteen and was not placed in any of the five schools selected. Please uh, read my text. I just read it and um, let me make a passionate appeal. I said earlier this morning that free SHS is good. It is good because if they are not being if they are not being free as, for free SHS, and before these two politicians came here, I had said that before, that they have not been for free SHS, some of these girls would have not been in school at all. But while the enrollment numbers have increased, we must also make sure that we provide comfort for them. Because in but ten years we will we will be demanding patriotism from them. In 10 years, we will be wanting for them to become good citizens to help our industrialization and all of that. Few years, we and I'm saying that see them pass the, exams. the reality the on the ground is that some children, like these ones who spoke with me but said they cannot be, be the ones sourcing, say that they were pushed into the school by the system. The education ministry says we didn't put them there and but we couldn't have put true. them there. But I'm saying that these children say they were put there by the system and they had no option. So their parents are sitting in Eastern Region, Western Region, Kumasi, assuming that their children are in a school hostel. The fact is that this is not an official hostel of the school. But, 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 this, this is, this is... Uh, one arrangement that they pay 700 Ghana cities and 14,400 cities for a full year. Please, let this be heard, let this be investigated, and let help come to the girls immediately. Enough of the politicization. Let me place on record that I'm raising these issues not to demonize anybody. If you have a daughter, if you have a daughter, you'll be worried about it. If you have a son, you'll be disturbed about it. If Pius has his son or daughter in that school, he will be worried.